So let's start with the water supply systems. We'll cover several topics in this section, including an overview of water supply systems, system sizing, water metering, supply piping, valves, and hot water heating systems. The objective for water supply systems is to ensure an adequate water supply at an adequate water pressure to all fixtures and equipment at all times. So there are basically four important reasons why the design of a water distribution is absolutely essential. They are number one, health. This is by far the highest importance. Water supply systems are required to be sized properly to provide adequate pressures in all areas of the piping system. Inadequate pressures can result in contamination of the potable water supply by backflow or back siphonage. Number two, pressure. Minimum water flow pressures are required for proper operation of fixtures and equipment. Number three, flow. Adequate quantities of water flow must be maintained at fixtures and equipment for proper operation. And number four, noise. So velocities exceeding 10 feet per second will result in excessive noise and can also cause hydraulic shock to the piping system. Some of the most common complaints regarding the water supply system are inadequate pressure and distracting noise from water flow. So noise is not detrimental to the operation of the system, but it can be a major nuisance for building occupants. There's an important distinction between water flow pressure and static pressure for a water supply system. The flow pressure that needs to be considered is the pressure in the system when water is actually flowing, not static pressure. So for example, with flush valves, the flow pressure values from the manufacturer need to be taken into account and used for system pressures and pipe sizing. It's common for a water distribution system to have fluctuating discharges at fixtures and equipment due to other fixtures and equipment starting up and shutting down. So the use of flow controls as part of the system will help to minimize fluctuation problems due to the automatic compensation features that they have. So these controls will make adjustments to line pressures to hold the rate of water delivery to specified outlets at a constant flow. When we're addressing system pressure issues, there are several types of systems that you'll be exposed to that serve commercial buildings. Municipalities generally maintain water pressures in their distribution mains around 35 to 45 PSI, some higher, some lower. Of course, uh, most municipalities will have fluctuations in this pressure during the year, for example, during summer months. So these pressure ranges need to be verified with the local jurisdiction. Specific increases in water requirements may be necessary for summer periods, for example, lawn sprinkling, air conditioning, uh, makeup water, etc. If the water pressure from the public water supply is not adequate, the common methods used to handle these conditions are gravity storage tanks, hydropneumatic storage tanks, or booster pumps. It's also important to know the key terms used in the area of water supply systems. Maximum flow, average flow, uh, maximum probable flow. So looking at these terms, uh, maximum flow is the amount of water flow if all fixture outlets are open simultaneously. Average flow is the amount of water that will be flowing under normal conditions. And maximum probable flow is the maximum water flow occurring under peak conditions. This is also called peak demand or peak flow. Thank you.